Hello there, guys. Welcome back to a short online tutorial. Today, we're based on Adobe Illustrator and your good friend Jack from Blue Sky Graphics back again to show you some cool stuff. What I would like to do is show you this swirly transform effect within Adobe Illustrator. As you can see, quite a cool idea that you can implement on patterns, logos, many forms of graphic design. And what I want to do today is show you the step by step process that you need to follow to create such an effect. Okay, so just going to use my selection tool now and select everything and press backspace to delete and press the shortcut command zero on, on the Mac or control zero on uh, Windows to be able just to go back to normal view mode. Okay, cool. So the first thing I need to do is create a um, ellipse. So I'm going to come to my ellipse tool here. I'm just going to click on the artboard and I need to create an ellipse around 900 pixels by 900 pixels. Nice and proportionate for me. Like so. Wonderful, we're gonna bring this over here like so. Let's just center it. So have it selected, use our alignment tools at the top here. And we could just center it like so. Okay, so I need to now start manipulating the stroke of this particular um, uh, ellipse I've created. So I'm just gonna make sure the color of the stroke is white. And then I'm gonna come through now and start manipulating our stroke options. So if I click the stroke word there, like so, you can see that all the options there have um, been opened there for me, for me to manipulate. So what I want to do is come through and make sure that my size of the stroke is around 18 points. I want to make my cap rounded, okay? And as you can see, I have a dash lined tick, okay? Now the dash here, I'm probably gonna put that down to zero and keep the gap at 30 points, like so. As you can, you can manipulate that, change that, whatever you want to do, but this would be quite um, good for myself for this particular design I'm doing. And then what I'm gonna do now is come through and change the profile to that there, okay, wonderful. Now with this still selected, I'm now gonna to go to Effect, Distal and Transform, and Transform. I need to manipulate the scale, so I'm gonna manipulate the horizontal scale and change it to 93%, and I'll do the same for the vertical as well. I'm gonna change the angle to probably around minus 15, and we wanna make sure that we've got about 40 copies, like so. Make sure that your reference point is in the center here also as well. And now if we press OK, wonderful. And then the final step would be is to apply a gradient to this uh, stroke that we've created. As you can see here, I'm just going to come to our gradient option like so. I'm going to stick with the black and white option because it suits well with our background. And there you have it, guys. If you're interested in finding out more about the school, the courses that we offer, us as tutors, please don't hesitate, guys, and visit our website at blueskygraphics.co.uk. Also, as well, there are recordings that are coming out on a weekly basis, so please make sure you take a look. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.